touch me and I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Back up off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back up off. Okay, because you gotta check out what's going on. Because again, you don't want to make the assumption that just because I'm touching you, and he's got a nice physique, girl. He gave me permission. So right now, the consent that Seth and I have with one another is we have consent to touch, okay? We have consent to touch. We have not consented to doing any other thing. So at any given moment, if Seth says stop, no, or you look a little like, wait a minute, then for me, I'm going to interpret that as that means no, okay? Because again, we don't want any misunderstanding. Because if you have misunderstanding, then you're going to appear before a judicial panel, and that means, uh-oh, brothers, you in trouble. So we don't want any trouble. Let's give Seth a round of applause. <laughs> to take a look at a video clip and we're going to determine <coughs> if consent were given consent was given if no consent was given and then we're going to think about that for a moment because again we want to make sure that we fully understand what consent is we don't want to have any misunderstandings that's a double that's a double <laughs>
as an example, okay? I'm gonna pretend this is the red solo cup. We just turning it up, okay? We cannot put it down because whatever in her is delicious, okay? However, you know, we are tipsy. So I say to you, if the individual that you are attracted to for that moment in time, you both tipping up this cup, be mindful that you want to have full understanding. And the understanding is you drinking, I'm drinking, no sex. Okay? Repeat after me. You drinking? You drinking. Okay, you gotta we gotta be real here now. Remember, we get it wrong. You drinking. You drinking. I'm drinking. I'm drinking. No sex. No sex. You cannot go wrong if you don't engage in an activity. And when I say sex, I want to make sure, notice my voice is elevated. I want to make sure we fully understand what sex means, okay? If you are entering or touching, okay? If you whip out, I'm going to say, if you whip out your Johnson, your penis, okay? Because I'm the only JJ in here, okay? I'm a female, so I call the vagina a JJ, okay? Now, I do have a penis that's on loan. It belongs to my husband, however it is mine. So, okay, he still has to give me consent, okay? I just can't misinterpret that. Consent is free will, so if you whip out your penis, you have to give the person permission to do whatever to the penis. If the penis is entering the vajayjay, if it's entering the mouth, if it's entering the anus, or if somebody is just playing with it, Permission must be given. You need to make sure that you get permission when you are going to engage in any sexual activity. Notice how my body language, my facial expression, and my tone is changing because for some strange reason, sometimes we think if we're not penetrating, we're not engaging in sex. Guess what? If somebody is slobbing on your Johnsons, it's sex, okay? See, some people, they don't want to penetrate. They just want somebody to slob on the Johnson, okay? And it's feeling real good to them, okay? And you just got them going, got them going. Guess what? If that person did not give you consent, you were violating them. I want you to remember that. You have to get consent. And if you always think about getting consent, you put yourself in a position to make sure that when you're engaging in sexual activities is going to be pleasurable because there are going to be no negative repercussions, okay? Because if we don't get consent, we're going to have negative repercussions. Using my man Seth over here again as my example, again, because you have the Google eyes, you know, that red solo cup is, is really talking to me about you over here. You know, and, and me and Seth might even decide to take it a step I'm doing a little another demonstration with you, okay? Jim is cool up because I'm coming back to the Because I'm just, you know, for whatever reason, I'm all into sex right now, okay? So I'm into sex. So, and you guys know sometimes this happens at parties, okay? Because people are attracted to one another because we're human beings. So I might just be all over him. He's becoming my best friend. As you see, he's my king. I'm just like him. But in no time, I'm going to sit on your lap and I said, if you don't mind. So you got to play, you got to roll. So, see, so, so I'm tempting him. Because, and I'm doing this because what if this happens? What if somebody comes and sits on you at the party? Okay? I might be turning you on, too. So you, <laughs> so you, you might want to sit on your lap. Would you mind? So you might want to participate, okay? Because, you know, <laughs> when we engage in these activities, remember I said, you know, we do different things because it's different strokes for different folks. But remember, I want to make sure that everybody is safe. So at no time, if this is my thing, what should you guys ask me? Now, play like this is happening for real. It's going to go down, okay? We attract each other. It's getting ready to go down, okay? So, what, what am I doing? What you mean, what am I doing? I want to do that. <laughs> and I want to do that, too. <laughs> Sweetheart, how drunk are you? <laughs> oh, say that again. Say that again. Sweetheart, how drunk are you? Did you just see what he just said? He said, sweetheart, how drunk are you? Good looking out, Seth. And I'm saying that again because he already knows I'm a little buzz. He doesn't actually know my level of incapacitation, which means I'm incapacitated, okay? 
So I'm not really in my right frame of mind. So he just asked me this question because I just want to have fun. But if I allow, what's your name? Jake. Jake, so now I got Jake and Seth, okay? <laughs> so if Jake and Seth and I continue to engage in this type of behavior and we just get with it, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, what happened? I think I've been violated. We don't want any confusion. So Seth is a chap here because he's finna shut it down. He knows I'm tipsy. He like, you look good, but guess what? I'ma holler at you. I use a lot of slang. I cold switch, okay? I'ma holler at you when you sober. Because he doesn't want any problems. And he'll say, don't don't worry, bring it over here. And she's with it, it's going down. Just remember that. But we don't want anything to go down when the other person or all parties involved were not coaching. Because if we are not kosher, then again, like I said, violation has occurred. And you might say, well, she was with it. She was all on my lap and she was touching me and all that. But what's going to happen is they're going to ask you a series of questions. Did she say it was all right? Did you know that she was buzzed? Was she drunk? How much liquor was she drinking? Was she popping pills? Was she drunk? Was she smoking a little weed or anything? A series of questions is going to come <coughs> behind that. So you want to make sure that you're safe. Now, the bystanders in the room, you guys are bystanders per se. So you see this happening. Bystanders, do you have any responsibility? Yes, yes. What is your responsibility as a bystander? Step in. Like, Say it out loud so I hear you. You have to step in if something starts going somewhere. Step in. So again, brother, say step in and make sure that if you see something that is unbecoming and that shouldn't be happening, that you take action. Because again, if you don't step in and if you don't take action, guess what? You're part of the problem and you're not part of the solution. <coughs> again, we want to make sure that everybody is safe. So when we think about a person being incapacitated, they think their speech can slur. These are just typical. Doesn't mean it happens to everybody. <coughs> their speech can be slurred. They can kind of be, you know, wobbling. Don't know what's going on. They can absolutely have no idea what's going on. They can start vomiting. You know, their stomach could be nauseated. A series of things can be taking place with that individual. But you need to use common sense. And when you're looking at that person and you see it happening, you should not want to sleep with somebody that's drunk. Look, look at it. I mean, what are you getting out of this? You shouldn't get anything out of it. Because again, if the person says that they have been assaulted, then guess who has a problem? You. And you don't want that problem. And I say that to you because guess what? People are giving up the vajayjay for free, okay? Remember, the vajayjay is, is the vagina, okay? Okay? And I'm gonna use another term. I'm gonna use some vulgar language because I want you to feel me, okay? People giving up pussy for free, okay? Cause see, that's the type of language we use when we engage in these sexual acts. See, I said we're gonna get raw today. I wanna make sure that we understand. You know, nobody's saying, oh Seth, I want you to touch my vagina. No, that ain't going down when you're in the heat of the moment. You know that, <laughs> and I know that. But what I'm telling you is that there are people that want to engage in sexual activity, different types of sexual activity, so why would I want to attempt to engage in my homeboy so when I know they're drunk and we're drunk? Because as my man Seth said, how much did you have to drink? Right now, we're not in our right mind because we're not fully capable because you know, we didn't have that red solo cup, but we're not fully capable of making clear conscious decisions. And as my bystander said, when you see this type of behavior, going on, you need to shut it down as well. Because you can be held responsible as well. You can be held responsible. And you don't want to be held responsible. Remember, <coughs> a lot of people coming on campus, first thing first, before I forget, if you are 21, you need to drink responsibly. We already know that. If you are under 21 and other individuals coming to your parties are under 21, you should not be serving them alcohol and you should not allow them to drink alcohol because guess what? What happens if they do it? Who is reliable? Uh, yes. So again, we're causing ourselves problems and you want to eliminate problems because those problems shouldn't even arise. You have to say, baby girl, as a matter of fact, you can create a system. 
If they under 21, I'm serious. You might say, come on, Dr. Smith. No, get them look, put a little tag on their arm, okay? Put the tag on their arm like they do at some clubs. At some clubs, they do put tags on because I can't come up to the bar and get some alcohol. I'm going to let you come to the party and have a little fun, but you can't participate in none of the drink drink, okay? Because you're not that. Because, again, we want to make sure that everybody's safe and everybody's responsible. Because if we're not safe and if we're not responsible, then it causes a problem for everybody. And again, we want to make sure that we minimize those problems. So at the end of the day, you want to get consent. If the person does not want to engage in that sexual activity, Seth and I, we could have been getting down, okay? I'm coming back to my dinner with her. We get down, like pretend we get down, now we get down. Now we want to, one of them wants to engage in another act. However, I don't get down like that, Seth. So in the middle of you doing your do, <coughs> look at me now, you could be engaged in one act. If the person says no, don't do it. Because they have to consent to whatever it is you're doing. So they can make consent to penetration in the vagina, but they might not consent to penetration in the booty hole. No, no, no. They might say, whoa, whoa, whoa. What you gonna do? <laughs> no, 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 no. We can't do that, okay? You gotta get another girl to do that because I'm not that type of girl. Okay? All right. We can keep doing what we're doing. You wanna keep doing what we're doing? That's rock and roll. If not, find somebody else. So again, you just kind of say, okay, no problem. Because again, if you don't, it's gonna be a problem. So one of the key things that I want us to remember if we don't remember anything else is I want you to make sure that first in order to get to the consent and get to consent that we have a full understanding go back this is what I want you to remember <coughs> no means no if you heard the word no it means no N-O stop it's still no if I'm looking at Seth and we're touching each other again, but I say no. Don't do it. Because sometimes we like, no, she really mean yes, but then she means no. What do you mean? No or yes, okay? If I'm touching Seth while I'm quiet, just to lift up his hand or something, he doesn't know if I'm consenting. Because I'm just looking. I'm not telling him anything, but I might be looking at you. Right? <laughs> That's still no. So silence doesn't mean yes. Take silence as a no. If somebody's tense, tense enough. If they're if they look nervous, just, just say no. Okay. I'm cool. You cool? I'm cool. Okay. I'm just I'm gonna go back out here, okay? Well, no problem. We laughing, but I'm being serious. Because again, I want to make sure that everybody understands. So don't take silence if it's a if yes. Just err on caution. If drugs and alcohol are involved, don't do what? Don't do what? Oh my God, I need to hear a little louder. If drugs and alcohol are involved, we're going to err on caution and don't do what? Sex. Yes, we're not going to have sex. Because if we have sex, it could cause us trouble. Because the parties were not in their right mind because they could have been incapacitated. Here lies the problem when we talk about if a person is incapacitated. Because when we talk about incapacitation, as Seth said at the beginning, <coughs> does the person even know they're incapacitated? Because the person might think they are right, but they're really not all right. And then, is the other party involved? Can you look and kind of, you kind of tell that this person is kind of acting a little strange. So you should know something is going on with them. I don't think they're all the way totally in their right frame of reference. So I think I just need to back away. So we're not going to engage in sex. We're going to get what if we want to engage in sexual activity? Consent. consent. And in addition to consent, I want to make sure that you protect yourself when you engage in a sexual activity. You need to wrap it up. Say wrap it up. Wrap it up. Say it with enthusiasm. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. And all you have to do is go on, you can go on the campus, campus clinic, and 
they give out free condoms. Hot damn, free condoms. Yes, you didn't. I'm just letting you know you can get hooked up. They give out free condoms on a specific day. So go get you some free condoms. And if you engaging in a little licky licky, you're licking it, it needs to go get a dental band because you don't know what people got down there, okay? Because you want to be safe. Because you might get some creepy crawlers on you. Or you might have a package in nine months. And I don't think anybody wants a package or creepy crawlers. So we're going to make sure that we're consenting and we're going to protect ourselves and we're going to drink responsibly if we're drinking and over 21. And if we're not over 21, we're not going to indulge in it. Does anybody have any questions? Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. And any questions at any time, just, just feel free to reach out. Because again, I want to make sure that this is a topic that people are a little weary to talk about, but we need to make sure that, you know, we're not afraid to hold these conversations because if we don't understand something, we need to ask questions. Because again, I would hate for somebody to be sitting in front of a judicial <coughs> panel because there was a misunderstanding. And what I can tell you is that I actually serve on the Judiciary Committee, so when individuals have engaged in sexual misconduct, I'm one of the individuals that's on their panel. And so this is why I'm passionate about being proactive. So you need to make sure that you understand what consent means. Just because like when Seth and I were demonstrating the touching and feeling, we just, we. I consented that he could touch me and he consented that I could touch him. That was it. That doesn't mean we're getting ready to get down because sometimes in the heat of the moment, you know, your body starts talking to you because it starts feeling good to you. But if the other person is not down, don't do it because you don't want to put yourself in that situation. Because if you put yourself in that situation, when you sit before the board, mm, it might not be looking good for you, brother. And you could get suspended. Or you can get kicked out of school. And you didn't come all this way to get an education, to get kicked out because of some misunderstandings or inappropriate behavior. So we got to make sure that we understand one another. And if we understand one another and we on the same page, then that's why I say we go forward. If not, shut it down. That's that simple. They could be mad at you, call you a chump or whatever. Cool, I'll, I'll let you later. That's what you do. Because you want to be safe. And you want to be respectful of yourself and respectful of the other person. All right. Let's give it up for Dr. Sean one more time.